It's your boy Grill up here back with another video and today. I got another special video for you guys. Today we're gonna be beating the Goku Black Battle 51. Um just trying to just beat it. We're not trying to do the 180 counts in the extreme, just showing you guys how to beat it. As you guys see, I'm rocking the triple super saiyan 4 team, and I'm gonna explain why in a sec on why I picked this team. So the reason why I picked this team, right? Um you know one thing about these type of events is you gotta um you gotta really switch out a lot and stuff like that so what i like about all three what all three of these characters can do is they all get some type of key when they switch in when they switch out so it really helps you know having this like you know you have this type of loop you get this like little rhythm going as you're playing the matches as you're facing against this team um the uh, you know the opponents you know all the goku black it helps you get in some sort of rhythm. Um, and, you know, there's not going to be a point where you're out of key and stuff and you're stuck. Because basically in these type of battles, right, if you get hit one time, it's pretty much a dead character. Like, once you mess up and they vanish or they perfect vanish you, that character is done. And so be it. So it's basically like you have to play perfect. You cannot get touched at all in these type, in these type of modes. So... As you guys can see here, a uh, tip that I want to give you guys for these type of battles is you always want to play mid-range, right? You don't want to play in the long range because say if they do a blast attack, right? They do a blast attack and you dodge it and you try to attack. They have a, they have a, you know, they're going to key cancel. Like these these bots now, they're, they're able to key cancel very, very, very good. So they have a, they have a great chance of dodging your attack. But if you play in the mid-range area, as you guys see right there, I moved up and I was able to dodge out. But you want to play in the mid-range area because and farm up the um and farm just keep spamming the vanish. Like keep spamming the dodge and let them attack you. Never attack the AI because if you attack the AI, great chance of them, you know, perfect vanishing you, and then it's pretty much a dead unit really. So Never attack them. Always wait for them to come and attack you and just do your damage and then, you know, do your damage with, you know, your your people and then you just move on to the next one. So, another thing that I want to uh, talk about is, you know, you want to, for the rhythm, you really want to pay attention to, like, my time account. So, like, you can see out there, the green Goku had five. I try to keep, you know, five time accounts away from each of the units because it usually takes uh, um, average combo usually takes about five time accounts. So after you're done with your account, I mean your your uh, combo, right? Usually when yeah when you're done, you know you have the next person in line and you can keep doing that repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. So you are, you're basically in the loop and you have this type of rhythm. So you know having you know a spaced out time account, you know have five time accounts. From your um, from your other units and stuff, so you can keep keep looping and stuff. So another thing that I did, you know, that helped me beat this is, you know, you really want to try to focus on like what character you want to rise and rush against. You know, for the Goku Blacks, I wanted to rise and rush the blue one, right? Because the blue one doesn't have you know the extra purple health and stuff like that. I don't want to waste my rise and rush on those on those type of um bars and stuff because rise and rush is key you know you really want to try to take out one of the characters as fast as possible but in here um i was i just rise and rush the green one because you know i was able to take down his thing really very quick and he had two so i was like all right i'm gonna just start chipping on him instead of the goku black because he transformed and, act, and got extra health so i was like let's go with the um the green one but usually i would go with the blue one if you're not if you're not able to get you know the knock down the health of the green one or the uh, yellow one so that's my two cents on that and yeah so we're gonna just you know look at the gameplay you know just you know i really want y'all to pay attention on like how i'm doing it right you see how i'm switching to vegeta you know charge stepping is very very key i feel like having a lot of blast arch cards is more is like way more valuable than arch cards because um, I really don't know why. It's like every time you dodge an attack from the AI and you do a blast card, like they just don't know what to do. Like as you can see here, I always every time I dodge, I always try to 
use the blast arch cards instead of the strike arch cards because i don't know i feel like when you do the strike arts they you know they always dodge and stuff like that so i always find myself having trouble with that you can see dodge like look they stand there and i just use the blast arts card i don't try to use the strikes because every time i use the strike they always perfect advantage me and you see how you know this you know this team the, you know their synergy is amazing you know they're able to get key and and stuff like that is very important you see you there i dodge and stuff like that i dodge use the blast arch card make and then i have vegeta on standby perfect vanished him uh let's see i kept you know i was charge stepping charge stepping this key right here and then you know chipping them as much as possible before i use the rise of rust and able to uh kill the kill, uh, defeat the goku butt so that's it for this video um you see me destroying him um i hope this you know my what I gave out throughout this vid helped you guys defeat in this Battle 51. And uh, yeah, man, uh, let's see. Like, comment, subscribe. It's been your boy Groove, man. And I'm out. Peace.